Welcome back to the Endo Drill for the first home game of the 2017-18 season. Alois started their campaign away to Rose County following to a 2 0 defeat. Tonight's opponents are both as the reigning League 2 champions and will be a good barometer for where Alois are ranked this season. Alois have lost around 40 goals with the departure of Kirkpatrick and Spence. It's up to new boys Cook, Fleming, and Renton to make up those numbers. Another striking option, Craig Malcolm drops out of the side after picking up an ankle injury in Dingwall. It's not as serious as originally feared, so hopefully he's back in action soon. Arbroath had the Tuesday night off, so this is their first outing of the season. They named four former Alwa players in their squad. Almost a full selection from the visitors, with new signing from Forfa, Gavin Swanky, the only player unavailable. Are both in their home kit to kick us off. Taggart on the right hand side crosses in, Rins just awkward the height for him, can't get on the end of it. Arbroath forward, crossed into O'Brien, so the bar. For you to Denham, back to you. Henry plays it inside. Doris back to Henry. We're on the edge with you. Strikes safely over the bar. One back by Gary Fleming. Alwa can break. Collie plays in Cook. Early crosses too far ahead of Renton. A glorious chance to work the Arbroath keeper early on. Passed up by Alwa. Flanagan, the cross in. Yes, Graham with a header, comes off the post. Excellent delivery from Flanagan. Graham making his 50th appearance for Alawa. Gets his head to it, gets enough power to beat the keeper, but can't beat the post. Kada. He's got gold up the line. He uses. Gold cuts inside and crosses to you. His header beats McDill. It's 1 0 our bro. 16th minute. And criticisms on that. Stephen Herrington is standing at left back for Megat. Doesn't close the cross down very well. But it's slack marking in the middle. McKeown, Taggart, and Collett all missing the man and allowing Blair Yule to score an unmarked header. Both coming forward up this right hand side again. Bobby Lynn gets a cross in. Back post to Doris who can't get on it. Yule plays it inside. Henry. Weak effort in the end. Renton playing it forward to Coley on this right wing. Smart ball to Tiger. Cross, it's met by an Arbor player out for a corner. Cook swings it in. Miss Graham flashes across the face of goal, but wide of the mark. Flanagan over the halfway line. Wait to Cook. Crosses. Headed beyond Fleming. Collie at the back though. Claims for a handball. The referee plays on though. Kada wins a throw in, taken quickly. Doris to Kada. It's got space to hit a shot. And then Graham headed it wide the goal. Sent forward by you. Bobby Lynn chases. And it's Kada in the middle. He's pole by McDill. Referee says no penalty. Back by Collie. Yule forward. Taggart loses out to Denham. Play forward to Bobby Lynn, who's in the box. Cuts inside and back. But he's left foot. It's a wild effort. Corner for Alba. Flanagan to deliver. Met in the middle by McKeown. Over the bar. 
Graham. Clearing the ball up to Renton. Who loses out, but picked up by Robertson. It's wide with Flanagan. Back inside to Robertson. Taggart crosses. Flicked on by Fleming. Flanagan on the edge. Oh, just tips it forward with his toe. But saved well by Gomez and Narbroth's goal. Delivery into the box from Arbroath at the back post. O'Brien oh, cracks it at McDowell, but parried for another Arbroath corner. Grant off the bench, driving forward. Flicked in Martin. Oh, saved by Gomez. And he's picked up a kick in the teeth for his troubles. It's okay to continue. Taggart to Robertson. Back to Taggart. Cross in. Kion doesn't win it, Fleming gets a shot, but it's wide of the mark. Martin to Flanagan. Taggart inside. Inside again to Grant, who takes it early on the turn, but curls wide a goal. Out of the corner, Flanagan again to deliver it from this right hand side. Played in, met by McKeown, and it goes his hands. Declan McDonald drives through himself. His effort's too high, though. Into the box to Graham. Renton's just been taken out in the box. The Arbroath defender misses the ball completely. No penalty though. Deep ball played in. Robertson to Renton. Flicked on. Arbroath get out of way. McKeown hits on the volley. It's bottom corner. Fantastic finish from the centre back. It's his first Alloa goal. It's Robertson who picks it up from deep. Drives forward, puts it into the big man. He does well to win the header. Arbroath can only get it clear as far as the edge of the 18 yard box. And what a finish. Arbroath throw in. Picked up by Martin though. Plays it long over the top. Dayton McDonald run on it, but just the defender gets a wee touch on it to head it back to Gomez. Well into the 90 minutes. Arbroath to throw in, Doris, it's a wayward effort, Gold for the free kick, Grant doesn't win the head up, and that's time up, they're going to a penalty shooter in the Betfred Cup, Scott Tiger steps up first for Alawa, Confident finish, top right hand corner. And Doris evens it up. Hetherington to take Alois second. Again, another excellent penalty in that top right hand corner. Watley sends McDowell the wrong way. Flanagan steps up, he was one of two players to miss against Brecon. This time he's put it bottom left, but instead he glanced in the post. He's beaten the fingertips of the goalkeeper. Malin steps up for Abroth. Substitute cracks the bar to advantage Alawa. And the captain to push that advantage. Graham steps up, puts it in confidently, bottom left hand corner. Yeah, Arbroath goal scorer player Yule steps up. Puts it in bottom right. Renton! Poor penalty down the middle. Saved by Arbroath's keeper. Hester can equalise at 4 all. He does. Adam Martin now. Desperate to take a penalty against Brecon. Didn't get his chance. Keeper's left on his heels. 
Pressure on Ricky Little. If he misses, Al will win. He scores right down the middle. Thomas Grant stepping up for Alwa. This is a poor penalty as well, saved by Gomez. And it's all down to McDowell against Gold. Farbro score, they get the bonus point. 6 5 Arbro. Pretty thumb next week's opponents, Montrose 6 now, leaving them bottom of the table. Alwa are just one point ahead of them and need to win both remaining games to have a chance at progressing as lucky losers. Check out the post-match from Arbro and join us next week for the conclusion of the Betfred Cup.